Welcome back at 644. The eighth annual camp out against cancer is back in person in the great outdoors this weekend. The event benefits the Kern County Cancer Foundation and joining us this morning to chat about the festivities. Michelle Avila, executive director for the foundation. Good morning, Michelle. Good morning, Mike. The teams are filled. They are ready to go. First, let's just jump in. What will they be taking part in this weekend? Well, there are so many different events that we've added on this year. Uh, the Bakersfield Car Club Council will be hosting a car show at the event with over 100 vehicles that's free and open to the public to come and check out. Uh, we're going to be having live music. We have a run walk Saturday morning starting at 10. Uh, we have lots of vendors and games, volleyball competitions, cornhole competitions, bingo. So a little bit of something for everyone. Now, we, I, we were looking at some video of some of the past events that were going on. You, do you still have the giant inflatable globe, Carrie? <laughs> we are not going to do the globe oh. this year. Uh, we have some other new challenges uh, to kind of mix things up, spice it up a little bit. So I uh, come out, we have some spike ball that we're doing this year. I oh. know that's like the new thing. So we're going to be able to show people how to use that and then have them compete against each other, um, as well as a few other competitions. Now, you know, I know that the teams are taking part. Are there things that maybe spectators, people that kind of wander out there that they can get involved with? Oh, yes, definitely. So we do have open, open cornhole, uh, so people can uh, play that as mm -hmm. well. Uh, we have a volleyball c competition that you can come out and sign up for. Uh, we also have, like I said, the bingo uh, that you can do as well. And then some of the vendors are going to have some items. There's going to be like poker out there. Uh, a couple of the Josh Farther Foundation is actually doing that. They're known for that uh, out at the event. So it's the community coming together. There's going to be raffles and coloring contests. Uh, so a little bit of something thing for you know depending on what you like to do you know uh, if you could how is the foundation these days you know there was really no camp out last year the media music jam has been postponed twice now isn't that right uh how are you holding yes up? Honestly, it's been difficult these last two years because we haven't had those major events. Uh, we are down about 50% of our fundraising and we are completely privately funded. Uh, thank goodness we have had some reserves, so we've been able to continue to help patients locally. Mm -hmm. But if we don't pick up the pace and now, uh, we're going to suffer in the future years to be able to provide for the patients who are in need. So we just ask anything that you can do, come out. Um, it's free and open to the public to come to the camp out. It's Saturday and Sunday morning. Um, but if you'd like to make a donation, anything helps. And how much have, just to give people an idea, has the fund donated to help out local cancer patients so far? Well, in the last eight years, we have provided over $2.5 million worth of financial aid to wow. local patients. So it's significant. Each patient, we will help up to $50,000 in a lifetime. So as someone's going through chemotherapy or radiation, mm -hmm. Uh, or if they need transportation, it's significant. Sometimes five to $10,000 to pay for radiation treatment. And uh, sometimes they need to come back. And that's that's great. If they are surviving cancer and they are needing our help each and every year, uh, we will help them up to that 50,000. That's fantastic. The Camp Out Against Cancer, it is this weekend. It is back. Thank you, Michelle. Have a great time. Thank you.